Plug Power, those shares are popping after the company projected a sharp rise in revenue by 2027. The company expecting revenue to rise to roughly $6 billion. I find this story pretty fascinating because typically, Josh, the market is very short-term focused. Mm -hmm. Plug Power short-term forecast was not great. It actually right. is at the lower end, but the market seems to be looking longer term, which is a bit unusual. Yeah, so closer to here now, they expect 1.2 billion in 2023. You're right, the street was closer to 1.28 billion. And then looking farther out, they give these estimates, 6 billion in revenue in 2027, 20 billion by 2030. Um, we should note, yeah, listen, nice pop here today, but this stock truly has been shelled. I mean, it's down about 40% so far this year. Yeah, as you can see there, pretty volatile uh, company as well. It's a green hydrogen company, by the way, for those who are not familiar with plug power. And ChargePoint, that, is, that one's taking a different course. This one is sliding in today's trading session. The move to the downside coming after the company said it's raising $232 million via stock sales. ChargePoint knowing the move aims to support its path to profitability in 2024. So read through the reports here, Julie. What, what analysts are noting is that its amendment to the $300 million in convertible notes issued in April uh, 2022, that is overshadowing that $232 million equity raise this quarter. So RBC, for example, saying the equity raise is going to provide additional comfort that the company has the, the cash liquidity to reach this cash flow uh, break-even target by the end of, of next year. But their point to their clients is the amendment in convertible notes is actually an offset. And that stock, by the way, down about 60% so far in 2023. Right, it's pretty interesting here. So basically what they're doing is, on those convertible notes, they're giving themselves more time, but they're paying higher interest, which seems to indicate relatively no demand, low demand, right? So now the modification, the amendment to those convertible notes is that the notes were due in 2027 and we're paying three and a half, five percent over 5%. Now the spread is seven to eight and a half percent due in 2028. So basically, it's getting more expensive for this company to borrow that money. Effectively yep. is what's going on amidst tightening financial and conditions. And investors not happy. No, definitely not. And then finally, we're looking at Amgen as well. That stock got upgraded to an outperform at Leering Partners. The firm citing earnings upside as well as several catalysts in the near term. And then the shares took another leg up. Right now they're up four and a half percent. Apparently the company was awaiting some data from a cancer trial and then uh, push that, the release of that back to Friday. It was re supposed to be out at noon today. Yep. Michael Yee over at Jefferies, a biotech analyst who's closely watched, says that this could be a positive sign. Yeah, he pushed thinks this is, uh, uh, this is reading the tea leaves. He thinks maybe this embargo is part of this broader press move, Julie, mm. and that the data should be decent. Writes to his clients, we are optimistic there will be multiple responses, including in Lung, which could ultimately be a blockbuster market. So we'll yeah. see if he's read the clues correctly. We'll see. He is always outspoken. <laughs>